Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. And today in this video, it's a rather interesting video that we're making. And we're going to show you how to make GOIs using the tkinter library on Python. Stay tuned. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to show you how to use the tkinter library in your Python and just create GUIs with that. GUIs, if you don't know, stands for Graphic User Interface. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of how a GUI is, just a small little example of what a GUI or like a widget looks like. And then we're going to break it down in three things. That is the frame, the button and a label. Uh, so we're going to show you how to create these three things with an example code and this video is part one of a two-part series that we're going to make on tkinter and how to just create GUIs on tkinter in your python. So let me dive straight into my laptop and show you how these codes work and what these lines mean and everything of that sort. So if you see over here on my screen right now, I have my python open and I have a code in it. So I'm just going to tell you this code. This is an example code of uh, an entire GUI, an entire widget that we've just created. Uh, let me show you the widget first and how it looks like and what it performs and everything of that sort. So let me just hit run over here. And if you see, this is the widget that you created. So you just enter your name, your name over here and you click submit. So let me just enter the name as robo.in over here and just click submit. Over here, down here, if you see, it just says hello robo.in. That is how a GUI works and everything of that sort. You can create multiple things with these uh, and this is just the basic of what you can do. So yeah, let me just go through the code and explain to you guys how this worked and how, what this means actually. So here, if you see, the first two lines are from tkinter import ttk and import tkinter as app. So what this does is just tells Python that, hey, uh, we're importing this library, that is a tkinter library, and we're importing ttk from the tkinter library because ttk will help us uh, give us more styling options and everything of that sort. So that is going to help us over there. Over here on line 7, you can see we're just defining the greet function, and this greet function is nothing but this thing over here, if you see. So that is the greet function and uh, we're gonna print hello and submit label entry this this whole thing is what you will enter over here right and uh, just two exclamation marks just to just sound excited <laughs> so over here on the next line you see that we're just gonna uh, import it as a string and uh, if you know python this is not like a tutorial on python that we are making because it's recommended that if you're just going to start working on tkinter and just start making guis you should know basics of python and how the python language works and how to code in python and everything of that sort because using tkinter you can make a number and many many you know complicated guis and everything of that sort so it's suggested that you learn python and then watch this video to know how to code in python you'll understand this code very easily. So over here, if you see, this is a submit button dot set. Dot set means we're gonna, what this submit button is going to say. So if I just enter, for example, uh, let me just say enter over here, just for example. So if you see from the submit, it's just going to enter. So that's what it means. And TTK dot style. So now we're just gonna have a lot of styling options. Um, so if you see the background color over here is gray because the background color that we've set is gray. <laughs> and over here, uh, the height and width that we've set, this is the main frame. So we're just gonna style the entire main frame is what we're suggesting the code. So over here, if you see the app main window, this is the main window, and that's what we're gonna program in this this section of the code. So over here, if you see style main frame dot t frame, we're just gonna telling them the hey, uh, we're just gonna style this thing. Uh, so the height of it is uh, 100 and the uh, width is 50, um, and the cursor is question arrow. Now cursor is where you can get a little interesting uh, because see you see the question mark over here. That is the question arrow. But if I just write, for example, uh, if I, for example, if I just write plus over here uh, and just play. And you see that we get getting a plus sign over there. That's really some really cool things that you can do over there. And the relief is something, it just gives us dimension. So for example, we've uh, written sunken over here. So we can uh, put multiple things like raised, ridge, everything of that sort. So sunken just gives a dimension and everything. Uh, mainframe pack is fill X. That means it's the, the coordinates that we are setting. Uh, enter your name is over here. And the submit button, and we're gonna stylize the submit button. Exactly, so the width is 25, and the command is greet. So this is this the command that becomes over here, if you see. Uh, and that is it. Now we're just gonna give these things where they'll be located. For example, the high label, this is the high label. And that's on row zero, column zero over here. And the user integrate is row zero, column one. 
the summit grid is row 2 column span 3 and 25 so this is all just like placements of where these buttons and labels will be situated in the entire GUI and we're just gonna loop it and we're just gonna write everything every time we can write multiple times over here so for example robo.in and just press enter just get that uh, let's change the color for example let's just show you how many colors you can just go in let me just put it sky blue instead of green and you see it just turns out sky blue just nice sunny bright feeling that it gives i'm just gonna enter robo.in again and enter and just says hello robo.in and that's the code that's the example code now what we're gonna learn is three things frame the button and the label so let's get ahead with how to create a frame so over here if you see on the screen right now this is the code for the frame that we're just gonna create we're just gonna create a frame nothing inside it no text nothing no submit button no entry table nothing of that sort so it's gonna create a frame and just give it a color and just show you how the frame works and what it looks like and how to code it uh, so for example over here again you just have to import tkinter and ttk because ttk gives us styling options we're just gonna create other ttk style and the background color that we're gonna give s configure gives background color and let's just keep it orange for example over here i'm just giving it orange can change it later on as well it doesn't matter uh, this is the main frame and we're just going to create this uh, code the entire main frame module over here uh, so for example if you see ttk.frame app main window just uh, tells them that hey we're coding and programming this main window part of the frame and uh, style again main frame dot t frame this is the importing the entire library and everything of that sort so for example we're going to height of 100 and a width of 150 and the cursor again is a question arrow so if we see relief again is sunken relief again gives dimension to the entire frame uh, so let's instead of sunken give it like something like a raised uh, sorry uh, raised and uh, over here main frame pack is on the left side so if i for example give the uh, frame a little bit less width than the height let's for example instead of 150 i give it 50 uh, you'll see that the frame is on the left side of it so for example if i just play it over here See over here, and it's raised instead of sunken. If you see, it's just a little bit up. Um, so yeah, so this is the frame. <laughs> the frame has been created. Uh, let's, for example, just give it a 150 and change this thing to, say, magenta. Uh, and give it something like ridged. See that? And just add that. Okay, it's sort of going to be ridged, sorry. Um, just add that. If you see, it's a ridged over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fun uh, just this frame it's rich because if you can see over here and even the cursor is a question mark uh, so this is how we create a frame hope you understood the code this is the first time we're just trying this sort of a format of a video on this channel so if you like this format leave it a like and we'll make more such videos such tutorial type videos uh, leave it a like let us know if you like this sort and yeah let's get ahead with how to create a button and let's get ahead to how to make a button now uh, again so if you see on my screen import tkinter as app same things again uh, now we are going to instead of frame which is going to write button text and which is going to put it as a string variable and we're going to set it set means what the button is going to say and we're going to set it to submit uh, over here ttk.style means we're going to style the button now uh, for example the background color is again orange let's put it like something like a uh, let's put it like a blue why not and uh, okay submit button ttk dot button that means we're just gonna uh, code and program the entire button over here and if you see the submit button submit button dot t button this just imports the entire libraries and everything of that sort over here and the width is 20 we're just gonna set it to 20 if we see something over here the command is lambda so lambda if you don't know in python is an anonymous function so you can just set it that function to do anything of that sort uh, and over here lambda which is going to set it that function the command function we're going to set it to uh, if when someone presses the submit button it's just going to turn to ok um, and that's the pack and the loop and we're just going to start and display it and if you see over here it's got in the blue shade over here and it's just going to if we press submit changes to okay because of this function that we've just created over here uh, let's say instead of the blue background just create a, a red over here and we're just gonna say and see you just have that red and if you press submit it changes to okay because of this lambda function that you created and that was the button now let's move ahead to how to define and how to make labels in your GUI
Let's come down to the last part of this last section of this video and that is how to create a label in your tkinter python. Uh, so again, if you see on the screen over here, same things again, import tkinter as ttk and app, everything of that sort. And we're just gonna have the submit button as a string variable. And this submit button is not going to do anything. It's just not going to be pressed. This is just a label. It's just a text label that is going to be over there. Uh, so over here, if you see the submit button dot text dot set, is this is a label that's what we've said this is what the label will be saying and over here dot ttk style which is going to stylize this label now uh, so for example the background color this time i've chosen to be magenta ttk dot label what this does is accesses the label part of the library of ttk and everything of that sort and the text is a submit button and uh, the submit button dot t button this is just adding that submit button feel to the label you'll see when i run this code uh, and this is submit button text. The text variable is going to be this thing as again uh, from here. It just accesses this part of the code. And the width is 25, which is going to set it to 25. Submit button pack, main loop. Let's run it and see. And again, if you see, this is the magenta color. And uh, just drag it down. The magenta color, this is the label. That's what it's saying. And that's it, doesn't press, doesn't do anything, this is just a label. The feel and everything that look that this uh, label has is of a submit button. And that's why uh, this everything is like a submit button. And let's just end it. And that is it, that is how you create a label, a frame, a button, showing you how these three things merge into one and act like a widget in the start. And that was it. And that was it. That's how you make a label, button, frame, and how these three things work together as a one widget and everything of that sort. And if it did, leave it a like, share it with your friends, let them know how interesting of a topic GUI is and tkinter is, and how you can access it through your Python libraries and everything of that sort. And uh, subscribe if you already haven't. We're sort of probably coming up with something really interesting for you guys. And don't forget, this is the first part of a two-part series that we're creating on tkinter and how explaining tkinter and how to make GUI and everything of that sort so subscribe for the second part that will be coming out in a few days and that's it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time